Joshua Tree National Park takes its name from the Joshua trees that grow in certain areas within its boundaries. The park is located in Southern California and actually covers portions of two different deserts, the Mojave in the upper elevations and the Colorado from about 3,000 feet and above. Joshua trees grow only in the higher elevations and the park is a great place to get a better understanding of the geology and ecosystems of different desert areas. We headed out there with a Suzuki Grand Vitara project vehicle from Sport Truck Connection Television to take a look around at what the park has to offer. As you travel around within the park, you see the clear differences in the vegetation and land formations in different areas. There are oasis areas where springs bubble to the surface and you find stands of plants and trees sprouting from out of nowhere. And many of the hillsides clearly show the different layers of the Earth's surface development over thousands of years. A number of guidebooks and maps are available at the Visitor's Center and at Trailheads to help you get a more complete understanding of the sites in different areas of the park. Joshua Tree National Park is also famous for its rock formations, which have been seen in many movies and TV shows, and are also quite popular with rock climbers. In addition to the rocks and Joshua trees, you'll also find cactus gardens to explore in the park. Great views of the surrounding desert areas are another big part of a visit to the park. From Key's view at an elevation of nearly 5,200 feet, you can see the Coachella Valley and Palm Springs, and mountain peaks in Mexico more than a hundred miles away. In the northeast area of the park, and just outside the park, there are numerous trails leading to relics of the region's earlier mining activities. There are also still some active claims scattered about as well. Throughout the park, there are hiking trails that range from short, easy walks to serious backcountry challenges for experts. And the driving also ranges from easy to more difficult. There are many paved and graded dirt roads within the park, but although off-road driving is prohibited, there are unmaintained trails that carry four-wheel drive only advisories. Our Suzuki easily handled the toughest areas without complaint and stayed comfortable throughout our explorations. There are nine designated campgrounds within the park and it's a popular place for studying the nighttime skies as well. If you're one of those people who thinks there's nothing to see in the desert, a trip to Joshua Tree National Park will give you a better understanding of what you may have been missing. And in the springtime, wildflowers bloom on the desert floor, making it an even more colorful place to visit. As you probably expect, a summertime visit means being prepared for extreme heat conditions in most areas of the park. In winter, higher elevations will have freezing overnight temperatures and even snow at times. Whatever time of year it is, there's plenty of scenic beauty to enjoy and plenty to learn about the desert. And whatever you're driving, you'll find easy access to numerous trails and points of interest. If you're driving a vehicle capable of tackling the more rugged areas, like our Grand Vitara, there'll be that much more for you to see and do.